Okay, this is to um, show you a possible fix if you have a, this Insignia TV um, with power issues. What was happening with our TV was uh, we could, we could uh, power it up sometimes. It would, it would just spontaneously um, shut down. We could power it up by unplugging it, plug it back in. It would power off again by itself. It just kind of was doing that. And eventually it got so it wouldn't power up at all. It would just do a bunch of clicking and nothing would happen. So this is uh, the, the back of the TV's off and everything. And this is the power board. This is where the problem was. I'm going to actually unplug the TV just to, uh, for safety. And um, the problem was with these two capacitors right here. And they weren't visibly really, they maybe bulged a little, but um, just looking at them, couldn't really see anything. And uh, I had actually got a hint online somewhere, I think on a blog or something, that someone had the same board and had this problem. So what we did was pull that board off. There's a few screws. It's pretty easy actually to pull it off, but you have to be very careful. There's um, pretty big capacitors on there. You want to let this be unplugged um, for some time. Uh, I'm not an expert on that, but you, you want to be careful that you don't uh, open, it, open it up and, and go at it without it being unplugged for some time. So the power can drain out of those. Um, the board is made by this company, Danum, and the, uh, that's the model number for the board. Uh, so, okay. Oh, one person had wondered about these capacitors because they're kind of bulged looking on the top, um, but they're actually flat underneath, so I guess that's how the design is, but um, anyway. Those seem to be okay because we've replaced these now. These are two new ones and they, they seem to work fine. I'm going to plug it in. And so you can see what it's supposed to do. And what it does is click. The light, the little LED light on the board stays on. And that's a good sign. What was happening with ours before we replace, replaced those capacitors was that little, little LED would blink four times. It's a trouble code of some kind. So uh, soldering those in was actually pretty easy and I hadn't soldered before. So <laughs> that was a relief. Um, what I had to do, you can see I had to uh, actually, because the leads were a little wide, I actually bent in. Um, one side of the lead just to get get it to line up and the thing you need to know is what capacitor to get it's a 0 0.022 microfarad 800 volt um, film capacitor but I couldn't find those anywhere they were back ordered and I wanted to bump it up anyway to a higher voltage so I went with a 0 0.022 microfarad 1250 volt and that ordering information's here and uh, I actually got some extras. This is what they look like. And that is, uh, that is all it takes. Hopefully, hopefully this helps you out. If you have that power problem, that's probably a good place to start. There's, I'm sure, a lot of other things that could go wrong in here. But um, basically, that's about less than a $5 fix right there. And... If you know what you're going after and you know how to solder, it's pretty quick.